Hello, everyone. Today, welcome to another edition of Hearts Need Arts Kitchen Table Art with me, Hannah. I would say hi, but it's a little hard to move the camera right now. But thank you for joining us. Thank you for being here. Uh, my name is Hannah, and I am from Hearts Need Art. I am one of the artists that works um, with this nonprofit organization. We are a creative organization that works with um, individuals who are facing life-altering health challenges. So if that is you, then welcome, even if it's not you, even if you're a caregiver. Thank you for being here um, and doing something for yourself. Um, I am always here to share some little um, little exercises, little art things for you. So today I'm doing something completely different. Um, I'm gonna do terracotta pottery. So I want I've been wanting to paint on top of these things for a really long time and I thought I would finally do it today. Um, I have a few different options for you. Um, these all I happen to have just laying around just around the house outside and i actually took the time earlier today to clean them off as best as i could um i use the garden hose and i use a dirty um a dirty dishcloth just to wipe them all down so pretty easy to clean them we if you happen to be doing that you do want to clean these ahead of time before you do that um i think we can get started so even if you don't have one to clean, and even if you have one that's totally new to start with, um, it would still be a great idea to take a big brush and get some water. I'm gonna be using acrylic paints, by the way, so just so you guys know. Um, anytime you're working with painting on terracotta pottery or any kind of pottery, you actually want to water it down a little bit first, and you may have to go over it several times with your water. I have water, napkins, and a little placemat here. I'm actually gonna get a bigger brush so I can hold a lot more water. Just be careful if you have some taped edges. You'll kind of see what I mean in a little bit whenever I finish um, taping the other little piece of terracotta. But the reason I am watering this down right now is just because if I don't and I put the paint straight onto the pottery, um, it's gonna absorb everything right away which, you know, kind of creates a chalky look and doesn't really allow for any sort of um, blending, nothing like that. So do this first. And I did clean it off first, so no big deal there. So there we have it. So like I said, I just had these laying around and like I said, they're already um, pretty much primed with water and ready to go. Um, especially this one right here. So I'm actually not going to add any more water to this one. Um, it's already been soaked with water, so we're good to go there. I'm going to set these aside. As far as brushes are concerned, um, I have a lot of just cheaper brushes. So one of these, if you feel comfortable with these. Um, I actually don't know what I'm going to use today. I have no idea. I just sort of tend to grab brushes and just go for it. So I wanted to show you how I tape these things up. Um, I kind of want to create a gradient, but I want these uh, lines to show. So, without further ado, I don't know if you guys can hear anything in the background, but my cat's jumping on everything. She wants to be a little huntress right now. I'm just going to crisscross some lines. Now, you guys don't have to put any tape on it, but you definitely can. I recommend using a painter's tape of some kind. You can do the blue tape, or you can do the green tape. Whichever one works for you and what you're doing. And I tend to really like um, irregular shapes, too. Dun, dun, dun. there there we go so i also wanted to tell you guys a little bit about um, something that we're doing on june 11th june 11th is going to be a, um, a a give a giving day for us um it's a fundraising day and we hope that you guys can participate with us we're going to have a lot of activities throughout the day so if you want to, you can text, um, you can help us raise $25,000, you guys. We have a matching donor, and we really, really are so thankful for that. So any amount you guys are able to give for that big 
um, that big fundraiser on June 11th. That would be amazing to sort of follow the uh, the guidelines down there on the uh, on the screen on the bottom. Go to heartsneedart.org slash COVID if you wanted to help us because we do depend on you guys to continue doing what we do. Honestly, these things would not be possible without you guys. Anyway, more information on that will be coming eventually in the next week or so. Let's see. Now, I am taping this up. I kind of want this to stay like that. I am going to be wary about how much water and how much paint I put over in these areas, um, especially next to the tape, and especially wherever I see these gaps in the tape. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But I am going to put just a little bit more here. And then we'll actually begin the painty process. Um, once again, I'm using regular acrylic paints. So just the, the cheap kinds that you can find like from Walmart or something, if that's all you have. If that's all you have, then great. I want you to use that. I want that little piece, little piece of terracotta to show right there. Tape that up. Maybe just like one more piece like going across there. And then I'll be good to go. I don't need a lot. I don't think I need a lot. So I hope you guys are doing okay today. I don't know if you've noticed, but it's really hot outside. Hydrate, you guys. Always hydrate. I mean it. There we go. I can show you my little palette here in a moment. There. I think that looks okay. I think it'll look a lot better once I actually get paint on it. Now this one, I happen to already put it on the top here just because I don't want it to touch some of the top area. I don't actually know what I'm going to do. If you guys have been keeping up with these projects, I never, well, not never, I shouldn't say never. Um, I don't normally know exactly what I'm going to be doing with these projects. I like to sort of create them on the fly for the most part. So let's see, I might use a smaller brush than this. Perhaps this one. It's about half that size. I'm going to wet it because, again, we want to use water. And maybe I can create a gradient of some sort. So put a little bit of water. Maybe I can make a purple because I can. It can be a light purple or not. It doesn't really matter. Now these are just really, really cheap brushes. You don't have to go out there and spend anything fancy at all. Making like a bluish purple. I think that'll be a really nice contrast to the terracotta. And then I can water it down. And the reason I'm watering it down is just because I wanna get like some sort of gradient look. And then I'm actually going to lighten it up a little bit too because I think I want something a bit more lavender. I really personally would want some of the uh, the acrylic color to show through. And just for an example, I did this one a long, long time ago. So just an example of what you can do. And that's actually kind of what I'm going to do here. I do, I do want some of these drips because I really like those drips. I think they're really pretty. So for that... I'm going to use the flat edge of the brush. And there we go. That's, that's why we have a lot of water dripping down. You can even use this area. And I am going back and forth between grabbing a little bit of water and picking it up. If y'all have any idea of any other colors that you want me to use, please tell me. I will always use any colors you guys throw at me. There we go. Perhaps I can bring it a little bit lower like that. You can already see some of that terracotta is showing through, which looks pretty nice, I think. Whoops, so I accidentally grabbed some of the darker purple, but I'm gonna stick with it. I was gonna move on pretty soon with it anyway, so maybe I'll just stick with it. So that darker purple that I made, 
What other color would you like to see on top of it? You guys tell me. It can be literally anywhere. And I actually really like that it's pooling in some of these areas. That's gonna look really nice once we actually like turn it around. Oh, maybe I can put some blue on there. It's actually really fun just going around and around and around. So just so you guys know, in case you don't know already, um, I actually do one-on-one -on -one sessions every single week. Um, Mondays, Fridays, or Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So if you guys would like to sign up for a one-on-one -on -one session for me or with me, please do so. I really love like hanging out with you guys and just making art. That's really what it feels like. It really just feels like I'm hanging out with you and making some artwork. So if you're a patient or a caregiver, we have these services um, free for you guys, a patient or a caregiver um, or a hospital worker, healthcare worker, I should say. So these services are free for you guys because we know how trying it is. We know how really tough it is for you guys out there. So you can schedule something with me. It's actually really fun to go round and round like that. Now that water, if you ever want more drips, that water is really going to help. Even if it seems like you're just pouring water on it, that's okay. I'm curious to see if any of the water dripped underneath it, actually. I kind of want to make like a, a green color now. Like maybe I can do a thin layer of green going around that edge. So if I wanted to do anything thin, I'm going to go for one of these brushes, though. One of these round brushes. Get a thin brush for thinner lines, thick brush for thicker lines. It makes sense, but sometimes it's easier to hear it from somebody else. I am going to water it down just a little bit. Make a little bit more. Like so. I hope you guys are keeping cool out there. It is hot. Now the reason I'm, I feel like I'm able to put green here is because I already put the blue first. So if you remember color wheels, blue and green are right next to each other in the color wheel. And that's why I'm doing it this way. Same thing with purple and blue. Those are right next to each other on the color wheel. So they look really ni nice next to each other when you're actually painting them. See? And it's a good thing I primed the terracotta with the water because you can see in here where it kind of absorbed just a little bit. It sort of is staying on the surface like that. There. Now I think I'll add just a little bit more like that and then maybe some more drips. I actually really want more drips. I also really want to be able to blend some of this. So I think I'm going to rinse my brush because I want more drips and I want more blendy. I'm just going to use the water to spread that paint. Around and around and around. Don't forget to constantly move it around. Holding it down because I want more of those drips. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I just happened to have these and they were just sort of sitting around and collecting dust or collecting dirt. I think they'll look a lot nicer this way. Now, I am going to leave this one alone for now because there's so much going on, so much that needs to dry. Um, I'll leave that alone for now, and I'm going to move on to this guy over here. Perhaps I can switch places. There. Now, what colors should I use for these? And for this one. Any suggestions? I can literally do anything, you guys. Okay, not, not literally anything. Any suggestions? Because if not, then I'm just going to go for orange. Um, I, 
this here, I actually tried to use some uh, oil-based pens. Oh, some, like some of these are oil-based. Um, and it worked out nicely, but I had already wet it with the water. So it didn't really stick right away. I mean, I think it's drying. But, yeah, I think it's pretty much dry by now. But I think I'm going to stay away from that for now. And maybe later, if I have time, maybe I'll put a little bit of that on here. But for now, let's just focus on the uh, acrylic paints. So I think maybe I'll do orange for this one. I don't really know what I'm going to do. Maybe I can try and create some flowers. So I had already primed it with the uh, water again. And I'm going to see what I can do with the orange. Gonna hold it up and I don't know, maybe I'll make some designs. Now here it's a little bit of a well, a lot different of a technique. I'm squishing my brush down and dragging the paint along. Squish and curve and drag. Squish and curve and drag. And then this one's a little bit more of a tricky part. I can, if I wanted to, have it wrap around. Hope you guys can see that okay. Squish and curve and drag. I'm using a lot of paint. And I'm going to be careful about this side too because I don't want this side to smear. So maybe I will just work on two sides first, then wait for it to dry, and then come back to here. We'll come back to here while I'm waiting for this to dry. That sounds like a good game plan. Anytime you have a game plan, things always go so much more smoothly, especially in art. Now I'm probably just going to keep on dipping for more paint every single time. Squish and drag. This is actually a technique that I use a lot. I call it the, the one brush stroke technique. There. It'll take, it'll take a couple minutes for it to dry, so that's okay. Now, I am just going to put this aside here. And I'm going to reach for a smaller brush. Same kind of brush, though. So it's gonna be one of these. So same pointy brush, or same, or it is a pointy brush, but it is smaller. This time I'm gonna go for, what should I go for? I'm gonna do yellow. Anytime you guys have a color suggestion, please let me know. Please tell me. I'm gonna go for a straight up yellow. And um, what should I do? Y'all, I'm just making this up. I did not practice this beforehand, so we'll see how it actually turns out by the end of this video. Uh, let's see. This one is the tricky corner. If you guys ever um, do this project at home, please show me. I always really love to see what you guys do. Every once in a while, I'll get a uh, a private message, and somebody will show me what they what they done with the the video um, after watching the video, and it's always really amazing to see what you guys do. It's kind of look like little hearts. Oh, let's see. Let me rinse that brush. I 
it might actually go back and forth between these two um, just because this one it does look like it's drying um, this one looks like it's going to need a whole lot more drying before I'm able to go to the other side so we'll see but I'm still going to work on this side now what else should I do I could, if I wanted to, which I, of course, want to, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to take the other side of my same brush, and it's a very rounded uh, rounded end. Not all brushes are rounded like that, but this one happens to be perfect for making little stars. Like that. Basically, just dip it straight into your paint pile here. And then stamp it and go. So I could just create the same repeating pattern if I wanted to. And then this one's the one that curves this way. Whoops. So if you guys are new to Hearts Need Art, um, we actually have a lot of art services available to you guys. Um, we do live streams here on Facebook with other musicians as well. Um, we have Jaime, who does guitar. We have Caitlin. We have Cassie. We have Marisa. We have Megan. So if you guys are able to tune into them, that's always really awesome. Um, they also have one-on-one -on -one sessions too. So you guys, if you wanted to do a music session, um, you can certainly do that by going to that same website, the same, the same link that you would use to click on to sign up for me if you wanted to do um, a lesson with me. Click on that one and you can sign up for any one of them. So we have a lot of different um, musical styles that they can, that they can play. Um, I actually signed up for a guitar lesson with Jaime for myself. Um, so he taught me, you know, just the basics because I really don't know anything about guitar playing, but I really want to learn. I want to learn something called slap guitar. It's been my dream for years. So I'm finally going to go for it. So I'm going to add another color. I think... Maybe like that. Ooh, I know. I'm going to add pink with orange. Two colors. Okay, three. I don't like that pink. This is what I do. That. I always like to change it up anytime I can. Any other color suggestions from you guys? You are more than welcome to tell me. I think I'll use the light pink plus the orange. Do the same thing. I am going to be more careful about what I'm doing this time. I don't want my fingers to get in the way. Here we go. Now that's probably going to take a while to dry. So who knows? Maybe I won't finish it now or today. Maybe I'll finish it later. Now, with this technique, I'm literally dipping my brush into the pink first and then the orange. But you see how it's piling up? I'm sort of having to fix that a little bit right now. There. I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. We'll switch it up. Switch back to our other one. Let's see how dry or how wet it still is. It's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. 
all of the drippy areas are pretty dry or drying still, but it's not actively going to drip if I turn it over like this. So let's go ahead and take one of these. Clean off my little brush that I was using. Now, what color should I use next, you guys? Should I use orange, maybe? I feel like orange might be a good one. I don't know, maybe, let's see what other color I have. I don't want to use white. Nope. That's okay. I think orange would look really nice. Especially like a more yellowy orange. Maybe something lighter like that. Now, I do want to water this down because that's sort of going to be the theme for this particular piece. Watered down colors. I should probably be really careful about passing my paint over my piece. Funny how I still forget about that stuff. So don't forget, you guys, we are going to have a uh, June 11th um, fundraiser. So a lot of activities going on that day. So um, including Pictionary. So at least I think there's going to be Pictionary for that day. So if you guys would like to join me for Pictionary, you can definitely do that. So that's going to be another big gift day. Maybe I'll have this color. Like I want to see those brush strokes like that. So I'm going to keep layering them like that, dragging and overlapping. I like that I can see the terracotta, terracotta underneath it. And that's why we water it down. It looks really pretty. It's contrasted. I always used to love ceramics. I fell in love with ceramics when I was in school, and I took a little bit of ceramics when I was in, um, uh, at, I'm sorry, at uh, Southwest School of Art. So I took one intermediate class from there. So much fun, I'm so happy that I did it. That's cool, it's not too bad. I'm gonna let that drip down. Going to be really careful moving this around. It kind of looks nice when it's layered, though. Hope y'all's Tuesday is going okay. Now when this dries, it's going to look a little bit different. I can show you the one that I, I held it up earlier, but I can show it to you again. I did that one maybe a year ago or so. Just playing around with it. That was it. There. You can see some of that overlapped the blues that I had there. Now I could actually add something else to it. What should I add though? I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps when it's dry I can add um, something with those oil-based pens, but I'll have to let that dry first. So I'll let this dry this way since I want some of those drips to stay in place, um, we're gonna let that dry um, probably over here. 
I think I'm done with that one for now. This one, let's see how dry this one is. Still could use a little bit of work, a little bit of drying, but I'm gonna be extra careful with it this time. And it turns out I actually didn't need to put this here after all. I just kind of did that just in case I needed it. Turns out I didn't. That's okay. Okay, I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did before. Take my orange and I have to remember which direction I went in. There we go, that direction. So, now if you need a little bit of help holding this up, don't be afraid to ask. This is a little, it's a little heavy, at least for me it is. Like that. Personally, I always like to twist my brushes like that. It's a habit I formed a long time ago when I was teaching painting. Let's see, turn it around again. I think I added, what did I add? Pink on the bottom. I think I'll probably stick with this brush. And I'll probably continue with this portion. Oops. This is a long handled brush. I'm surprised it hasn't moved the camera beforehand. Now you can see the way the paint is mixing together like that. It's because I have a dirty brush. I have the orange underneath it, or the orange on there first, and then the pink on there on top. That's the sort of look that it gives. So I hope you guys learned a little bit of something today. Add that two techniques. Now I am gonna add a little bit of this darker pink, just some of it. Just because I have some darker pink on the other side. I just wanted to make it a little bit even. Let me set that down so I can put that there rinse off my other brush and get some of this orange right orange no yellow funny how i always mix up yellow and orange constantly i don't know why but i've always done that I don't exactly know what I'm gonna plant in these things. If y'all have any ideas, please tell me. I <laughs> I do tend to accidentally kill my plants all the time and feel really bad about it, but I don't know. I, f I feel like I have learned a lot though. I used to have a garden and I used to have cucumbers in it. Um, Gosh, what did I have? I had cucumbers, I had kale, I had squash, I had tomatoes. Um, I've had like a, a melons, um, not honeydew, the other one, the cantaloupes. That's what I meant. You said cantaloupes, we have we had a ton. So I would go out there, and anybody who knows me knows that I actually really love looking at bugs. And so I'd go out there specifically just to look at the bugs sometimes and all the caterpillars and all the amazing little creatures that were out there. And I would share my food sometimes. Whoops, got some on the bottom here. 
And I would go out there and literally just talk to the plants and tell them congratulations. <laughs> I'd tell, I would literally go there and tell them that they're doing a good job just for growing. It helped. It was a good, it was a good garden. Till winter came around. Oh, look at that. I think that was the last dot. Yay, you guys. I hope y'all liked it. So I was able to do, to paint two of these pots in 30 minutes. That's not too bad. Now I did, you know, beforehand um, rinse them with the water that I mentioned, and that water is going to be super important. So don't don't forget that part. Um, it just helps to keep the 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 terracotta moisturized, so that it, your painting process goes a little bit more smoothly. So I hope you guys enjoyed that lesson. I can show you this one that was a little bit more of a gradient. I ended up not using all of my brushes, but I always like to be prepared just in case. But, yep. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys um, are able to mark your calendars for um, June 11th. It's going to be our big fundraiser. Fundraiser. You could win a prize. You could play Pictionary with me. Um, just sort of comments or email Richard. Um, Richard at heartsneedart.org. You could win a prize with me. Well, you would win the prize, but you'd play with me, so. Let me show you this one one more time, and then that is it. Also, don't forget that if you wanted to, you could um, do a little one-on-one -on -one session with me as well. I have my sessions available every um, Tuesday, or I'm sorry, every Monday, Wednesday, and um, Friday. Oh, look at that. I forgot that I can totally peel this off in front of you guys. It's also best to do this while it's wet, too. Some of it did get underneath it, but I kind of expected that. I'm just going to peel off a little bit, and then I'll sign off. Not too bad. So just know, painter's tape, optional. You don't have to. Please feel free to show me your work if you happen to do it. Now, I could have waited for this to dry a little bit more, but I really wanted to show you guys this. It's gonna take, it's gonna take a while for it to dry, but not too bad. I could write my name. If I wanted to, I could just write my name or write somebody else's name, anybody's name in the middle here if I wanted to or do some more on it. So you guys have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday, um, wonderful rest of the week, and I guess I'll see you sometime next week. So bye-bye, you'll take care.